reach for my hand I'll soar away into the dawn Oh, I wish I could stay here and cherish hearts In peaceful days I fear the edge of dawn Knowing time betrays Faint lights pass through colored glass in this beloved place Silver shines The world dines A smile on each face As joy surrounds Come for the bounds And I can feel them breaking free For just this moment lost in time I am finally me Yet still I hide Behind this I do not know why it is so, but being here makes me feel quite unwell. I am so sleepy and a bit... It is a struggle merely to stay conscious. Are you feeling the same? And yet, it feels familiar as though pulled from a corner of my memory, from a time long ago. I simply cannot fathom it. Five years since I started here, this is certainly the busiest. It was four. I've been here five. Ah, what's a year here or there? Don't be petty now, Shamir. You count your enemies the same way. If I take care of them quickly, what does it matter how many there are? Oh, sorry. We didn't mean to ignore you, Professor. As you were saying, it's been a busy year. There never seemed to be enough hands for the work. That reminds me. Do you have that thing? If you do, we want it. Want? No, we need it. Give it to me, not her. Hey now, I'm the one who brought it up. We may be friends, but that's just rude.
Hey, you. Do me a favor. Of the four or five years, it was four. Ah. You count your... If I take... As you were saying, that reminds... Well, hey, now. I have a favor to ask. Of the four or five years, it was... Ah. You can't... If I take... As you were... That rem Want? Hey, now. Hey, you. Do me a favor. Professor, the tournament fish, and the meal we indulged in after the battle of the eagle and lion? Why, all of the food I've eaten in this monastery has been absolutely delectable. Every last bite of it. <laughs> food really is the only thing you think about, huh? <laughs> Hardly. I think about all sorts of things. Oh, like tomorrow's menu, for instance? No. No. You know, Professor, why all... <laughs> oh. You know, Professor, why all of the food I've eaten... <laughs> oh. I have a request. All this month, His Highness has been going out late into the night. He will not speak of it to me. Professor, do you happen to know anything? Lord Arundel is here? That may well explain it. His Highness's headaches have been growing steadily worse. I would prefer that he retire to bed early. The four, it was four. Ah, you can't. If I take as you were saying, that will pay now. It's not mine. Of the four, it ah, if I as you that will pay now. Oh, this is mine. Thanks. I'm glad to have it back. Sorry to ask this of you, but I would deeply appreciate it if you would promise to keep my association with Edelgard to yourself. It is a complicated history, what she and I share. Let me consider. Professor, what have you got there? That's my goodness, that is just what I've been looking for. I can offer nothing more than this, but I do ask that you consider trading with me. I am in your debt, Professor.
Professor, I've been watching your class activities, and I wondered if you might desire my help. Just say the word, and I'll pitch in. Of course, I have to be truthful. It's all just a ploy to make it easier to research your crest. Feel free to call on me anytime. I'll be happy to lend a hand. And then you can help out with my class, too. <laughs> it's a joke, Professor. I'd never put a burden on you, a first-year teacher. I thought we might make it through last month in peace. But no, another incident just had to arise, didn't it? If only this debacle had to do with crests, why, I'd have gone and dealt with it in an instant. I can't believe I left this behind. Thank you so much for retrieving it. Professor, tell me, is this about Ramire? There are more villagers acting strangely today than yesterday. Knights have been dispatched, yet the underlying cause is as yet unclear, and the most anyone can do is stand back and watch. It is most distressing. Professor, what do you think about all this? If it were indeed a disease, why would it only affect the villagers and not infect the night station there? No, that does not belong to me. Isn't that... Please, could you let me have that? Here, I'll give you this in return. Fantastic! Thanks, Professor. You have no idea how happy this makes me. Hello, Professor. I know that look in your eye. You want to ask me a favor. You want me to help out with your class, right? You just say the word, and I'll help however I can. Don't worry about it. You're just starting out as a teacher, right? It's only natural for those of us with more experience to help the younger generation. figure medicine and magical healing are two ways to do the same thing, but it's way deeper than that. Medicine is all about preventing infection and suppressing symptoms with, well, medicine. That's probably obvious. But magical healing is focused on closing up wounds faster, raising a body's vital energy, stuff like that. No, that's not mine. No, that's not mine. I hope you find the owner. No, that's not... Thank you. 
Hey, Professor, can I get your advice on something? I just don't know what to do anymore. I used to think they were the best, but now I can't even stand looking at them. <sighs> Good point, Professor. I think I need to see other meats right now. Then I can come back to fish when I'm good and ready. Oh, hey! I can't believe I dropped this! Good to see you, Professor. Did you need something from me? I was just on my way to train, so I'm pretty busy. They say that things rarely, if ever, go according to plan. Still, plan we must. After all, if we don't effectively force things to go our way, nothing will be achieved. How about you, Professor? Are you leading the life you envision for yourself? I'm in the middle of my daily duties. I assume you know by now that the Four Saints are all important figures in the teachings of Seros. Still, I have a particular fondness for Saint Cetheline. I have something to ask of you. I'm sorry to say, I have no idea to whom... Use your help.
way. I know you figure medicine and magical healing are two ways to do medicine, but mag... village. Is that not where you met Edelgard? If you had not been there, something terrible could have happened. Did one of the house leaders know that mercenaries were staying in Remire village? I wonder. It will remain a mystery for now. All we can do at this point is speculate. How could you possibly think that? Oh, I was looking for this. Have my thanks. Hello there. Really? Mm -hmm. Professor. How are you feeling, Professor? You look rather ill, if you don't mind my saying so. Are you sick? If so, I would urge you not to push yourself too hard. Take some rest. Just my natural talent, nothing out of the ordinary. Enough wit now. You should lie down. Hmm, I don't re- Hmm, I- Hmm, I don't re- Hmm, I- Hmm, Need something, Professor? I was just asking Monica here to be less demanding of Lady Edelgard's time. Need something? I was just... of your class, Professor. I honestly cannot recall the last time I interacted with others on a daily basis like this. 
It reminds me of when I was a child. <laughs> that was so very long ago now. Oh, I mean very. Very, very, very long ago. <gasps> oh, that is mine! Thank you so very much. Hmm, I wonder who this belongs to. always out and about these days. And just when I had some questions about a book I'd borrowed. Ugh, now I'm so curious about where he's gone off to. He'd better come back soon. The lost I... The lost I... The lost item. Hey there. I... who... Oh, settle down and stop with the knocking. I'll be there in two shakes. Oh, dear. Professor? Is that you? I... just a moment. Oh, what should I do? I can't open the door in this state. Manuela, you simply must quit oversleeping. Hold on. Where are my clothes? I can't even find my... Where in blazes is my underwear? Oh, I... What is my dressing robe belt caught on? Oh, I can't tie this properly. It's not even covering... Oh, Manuela. This will have to do. I'm, I'm fine. Just, oh, just hold on a moment. Oh, hello. Sorry to have kept you waiting. So, what do you want? Excuse me? You had a reason for coming here, I assume. I've put a lot of time and effort into making it possible to talk with you, you know. No, you've done nothing wrong. Let's just say I'm not having a good day. Actually, I didn't have a good night. Never mind. What did you want, anyway?
You heard from him? The fellow from last night? Huh. What did he have to say? Yeah. Figures. Kind of saw it coming, actually. That's why I came back to my room and went to bed. To get over it. Thank you for checking in on me. Was that all you wanted? Well then, good night. What the? <laughs> ah, Professor! The Battle of the Eagle and Lion was such good fun, don't you think? Ignatz, how long are you going to keep harping on about the Battle of the Eagle and Lion? Oh, come on, let me gush. Did you see how the house leaders came together after the battle? What an incredible thing to witness. Harmony, even after something so hard fought. True. If they can keep playing nice, perhaps there will be peace in Fodlin after all. Never seen that thing before in my life. Never seen that. Never seen that thing before in my life. Never seen that thing before. Professor! Igna. Oh, what? True! Ah, Professor! I'd like to learn... Ah, Prof... Igna. Oh, come on! What a... True! Never seen that thing before in my life! Never seen that thing... is a place of mysteriousness. I have awareness of how much difference every part of the world is. In a place alike to this place, you can imagine the goddess of Fodlin truly existing. At times I miss those places in Bridget. At times, I am missing those places so painfully. This is not belonging to me. This is not belonging to This is not belong Highness's headaches have been growing. For me. Thank you.
know, Professor, why all... <laughs> Heart... Oh. Is this for me? Thank you. You know, Professor, that why all... <laughs> oh, nice. I know nothing about it. Professor, I picked this up, but... Oh, hey! It worked out perfectly! Wanna trade me what you're holding for it? Thanks, Professor! This is great! I don't know who this belongs... I don't know who this belongs... I don't know who... I don't know who... Hey, that's mine! I learned all sorts of things, so I can do as much as possible for Lady Rhea. Cleaning, chopping wood, making feed... Oh, and I'm learning the bow and arrow from Shamir. I'm happy to help you out with anything you need done for your class. You betcha. I'm your guy, Professor. Since, you know, you can't exactly add me to your class or anything. Sir, Captain Gerald just told me. Remire Village is in a bad way, right? The situation there is worrying, yes. But tell me, how was your vertigo? Were you not feeling okay? You seem fine to me. I hope you're not just saying that. We can't have you putting on a brave face, only to fall in battle. We get a chance to practice together when you find I know I'm in a different class, but <laughs> Professor Captain the Sitch Professor the Sitch Meyer Village is faring. Hopefully we're not dealing with some new epidemic. It wouldn't be unheard of. Almost 20 years ago, a terrible plague blazed through Fargus. It even hit the capital city, taking the queen consort's life. Or so I heard. The whole kingdom was in an uproar over that loss. The person who saved the kingdom wasn't a doctor, but a holy woman, the fair Lady Cornelia. After that, she was awarded the honor of being a mage in the service of the royal family. She sounds like an amazing woman, but she must be pretty old by now. But hey, maybe she's aged like a fine wine. Oh, that's mine! Oh, thanks, Professor. You really saved the day.
Well... <sighs> Professor, do you ever wish you could return to your life as a mercenary? I thought you might. Traveling the world, just you and Gerald. How lovely it must have been. It was in Remire that you first met Alois and the rest of his order, was it not? Half a year has come and gone since then. How quickly time passes. Sir, it's about that thing you have there. If it's not too much of a bother, would you trade it for this? Thank you so much. I'll treasure it forever. That's a nice thing you have there. Why don't you trade it for this? Sounds good, right? Excellent doing business with you, Professor. <laughs> I've always wanted to say that. that you first met half a year. I appreciate this. Impressive. Thanks. Sir, hand it over and I'll make it worth your while. How? You can't even afford your own drinks. Give it here. You won't regret it. Excuse me. 
I asked first. Why don't we let the professor decide? Her? <sighs> what a letdown. You made the right choice. Here's your reward. I'll let you borrow it later, Catherine, if you quit sulking. Thanks. Something wrong? You're eating like you hate the food. Oh? That was not my intention, but I apologize if I hurt your feelings. Looks delicious. Let's eat. Ooh, <laughs> I love this stuff. Did you know that? sweets, but I'm not sure how I'll do cooking other types of food. Hmm, I see. Cooking is much more exciting than studying or training. It's hard to sneak out when the professor is watching. Regardless of the quality, this is a good chance for us to prove our solidarity. What? 
Lady Rhea. Never back down. <laughs> Fighting is what I do. is what I do. Fighting is what I do. You don't look busy. Join me for some training, Boar Prince. And here I thought you had no desire to speak with me. We don't need to speak to clash swords, do we? I suppose not. Is that one new? Wait. Where did you get such a blade? <laughs> I suppose you would recognize its value. I came upon a merchant selling weapons and found this among the rest of the steel. That pattern around the edge. There's no doubt. It was forged by Zoltan, the Master Swordsmith! I'm not giving it to you. Huh? Oh, I'm just happy to have laid eyes on it. I don't suppose you'd allow me the chance to hold it. Do you take me for a fool? I'm not letting a brute like you swing it around. As though I would be careless with something so valuable. I recall when you were nine years old, you swung a sword so hard you snapped it clean in two. Come now, that was so long ago. I'm hardly the fool I was then. <laughs> so you say. Yet House Fraldaria still told that story for years. What's wrong, Felix? <sighs> oh, pointless. No use talking about someone who's long dead. Looking at your face is making me angry. I'm going to find a different training partner. Farewell, your beastliness. What is going on with him? Shamir. Uh, it's... you. What is it? I have a message from His Highness. He will meet you in front of the library tomorrow evening. Evening, library, front. Got it. Oh, 
one more thing. A bug landed on your shoulder. Sorry if I startled you. Hmm. Anything else? No. Good. You get to the point. It makes you easy to deal with. Likewise. No need to say what isn't worth saying, right? Precisely. Few others seem to think so. Agreed. That is all. Farewell. Farewell. Apologies for my late arrival, Mercedes. My duties ran long, as per usual. There's no need to apologize at all. Please, have a seat. We've met for tea so many times, but you never seem to get used to it, do you, Ingrid? Not entirely, no. I'm not accustomed to being treated so... delicately. Anyway, what will we talk about today? I actually wanted to gripe about something that's been bothering me. You? Gripe? Now that's unusual. I'm happy to listen, of course. It's the least I can do after all the kindness you've shown me. Thank you. The one thing I really wanted to talk about is marriage. Oh? Yes. I received a letter from my adoptive father about marriage discussions with a noble family. And will you accept? That's the problem. No matter what I decide, I'll probably be married off anyway. What I really want to do is help those in need. But I think it would be more difficult to do so if I married a nobleman. Understandably so. Sounds to me like you need a strategy to silence your father. Sorry? To... silence him? Don't you agree? It seems the best course of action would be to consider severing all ties with the family and running away. <laughs> we don't need to go that far. I'm sorry, I really just needed to let that out. I don't need you to worry about solving my problems. Oh, okay. It's just a bit personal for me, actually. My own father has brought countless marriage proposals to my attention. He always was obsessed with me carrying on the family bloodline. At a very young age, my hand had already been promised to someone in marriage. But Glenn died young. That must have been difficult for you. Would you have married him if he had survived? Hmm. That's a good question. It's hard to imagine now. Although I did admire him quite a lot, he held true to the ideals of knighthood, proudly serving the king. Even after all these years, I aspire to be the type of knight that he embodied. But that's just it. I'm not a tool for furthering my family's fortunes. I'm a knight at heart, regardless of what my father desires. I see. A very noble cause indeed. <laughs> How strange that we should be worrying about the same thing. Even though we are such different people. It's true. Enjoying a nice chat over tea with you like this makes me realize maybe the paths we walk aren't so different after all. Don't you think? I do. These tea parties of ours, they really are something special. That they are. Ingrid, I would love to get to know you better if that's okay. I want to know about your childhood, your favorite books, the sweets you like, anything at all. <laughs> Absolutely. I'm happy to speak with you anytime. And I want to know you better too, Mercedes. Okay, now that you know the technique, go ahead and solve this problem. Ah, I've got it! Finally! <laughs> See? Isn't it fun to learn? 
Absolutely. You're great at this, you know. You really seem to have all the answers. I wish I could study and just soak up knowledge like you. How did you get so good at this? Well, studying was something of a necessity for me. What do you mean? My father was one of the king's knights. One day, he never returned home. He just left without ever saying a word to me or my mother. I'm so sorry to hear that. Losing a father so suddenly? I completely understand. After he left, I thought a lot about where he might have gone. My father was a devout believer, so I was certain he must have come here, to Garig Mok. Here? Really? That's why I was determined to gain acceptance into the Academy. I needed to come here so I could search for my father. The problem was that I needed money to get in. Lots of it. And I didn't have any at all. So I entered the School of Sorcery and Ferdy at first, hoping I could somehow find a path here. I studied tirelessly until I finally earned myself a recommendation. Oh, wow. So for you, studying has been like a way to meet your destiny. Destiny, huh? Well, yes, but it's a bit embarrassing when you put it like that. Now I have other reasons for wanting to keep trying hard. I want to protect all of my friends and allies here. I'm studying hard so I can be as useful as possible to everyone I hold dear. You've worked so hard. I really respect that. I'm going to follow your example. my compliments to the chef. I think I like this, but it's been a while, so I'm not sure. This is my most favorite dish of all. I love it almost as much as Crestology itself. This is my absolute favorite. How did you know, Professor? Professor, if you ask me, I think we did pretty well. 
Yes, Sylvain put his back into it for once. Next thing we know, pigs will be taking to the air. It seems I've improved. I'm getting much better. It all makes sense now. Thank you very much. It's raining, Professor. On rainy days, the wound I got from the Death Knight hurts like fire. Every time it aches, I get angry. You understand, yeah? I'm sure they had their reasons to kidnap Flame, but still... Did they really need to stab me? What'd I have to do with it? They ruined my beautiful porcelain skin. Worse, they took off before I could stab them back. So rude. That's rather enough, Manuela. Cease your moaning and give the professor a break. Oh, stuff it, Hanneman. Unlike you, the professor has a big heart and listens to me talk about any problem I have. More likely, your incessant ramblings offer no chance to interrupt. Is that true, professor? I knew it! You listen to me because you care about me, don't you? Ugh, go away, Hanneman. Leave us alone. And stop making me shout. It causes the old wound to hurt again. Then perhaps you'd best stay quiet. Keep your emotions in check, I'd say. Ugh, don't worry, Professor. We do this all the time. Indeed. Manuela and I do not mix well. Been true for years. That said, if it were up to me, I would prefer speaking to her in a calmer manner. It's not like I enjoy bickering with you. So maybe keep your mouth shut more often. I state that which needs to be heard. For example, I'm sorry, I couldn't help it. Same, same. Apologies. I am here because I have new information on the Death Knight's hiding place. What? Really? You could have started with that. Several students have reported possible sightings on the western edge of the sealed forest. While the authenticity of these reports has yet to be verified, it is still a very real possibility. I was thinking I would report this to Seth as a precaution. What? Why? We can't be slow. He's going to get away. Protocol on this matter requires reporting to Seth, then Lady Rhea, then... Professor, let's leave this old geezer behind and get going. Old geezer? I am barely 15 years your senior. I will not hear such... 
Stop talking. Let's gather a team and get going. I'll go scout ahead. I'm coming for you, Death Knight. Manuela, wait. It would not do to get yourself killed without someone to avenge you. Manuela's in a tough spot, Professor. Even if she's only got herself to blame, we cannot abandon her. <laughs> we have plenty of visitors today. Let's stop their annoying rescue attempt. Now that is a woman. Uh-oh. They've noticed me. Here they come.
Ready. Stay focused. What should I do? My turn. I'll cut through. Here we go. Let's take them out. I can feel it. Don't let my age fool you. Never had a chance. Give up. I will handle whatever comes.
Luck wasn't with you. No match for me. That's it. Too slow. That is that. Bunch of meddlesome losers. Maybe we should take a hostage for leverage. Capture that woman. We'll show them what the Death God Gang's made of. Death God Gang? What kind of childish nonsense? Where's the Death Knight? I've still got it. More polish never hurts. Next Too slow. I have held back? I'm glad I can count on you.
weren't ready. Let's shake things up. what I had to. Must stay focused. Let's take them out.
bunch of me capture them. Death God gang. Luck wasn't with you. Let's shake things up. Ready. I prevailed. Stay focused. Each battle, a chance to grow. What should I do? I'll cut through. down to this. Thank <laughs> you. 
Who's next? Good assist. wasn't with you. I'll do my best. for greatness. As expected. I have improved. that. <laughs> 